This is the Mayhem version 1.4.3. This is for the Flipper Zero, and it is the Marauder Wi-Fi uh, multi-board. Does a number of different things. So let's take a look at it. The first thing you'll notice, it has pins on both sides. And we'll go over in a second why that is, but just quickly, so you, I can flip it this way or this way and flip the camera around. It has a camera, an SD card slot. It has an eight pin breakout. So you can put any number of eight pin boards on it. It has an LED light right here. And it is pretty, pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. So first thing I'll do is I'll stick it on this way so the camera's facing forward. We'll take a look at some of the functions that it can perform. So the first thing I want to do to perform most of the functions for this board, um, if you're using the extreme software, the extreme firmware for your flipper, you go into apps, GPIO, scroll all the way down to M for mayhem. And there's a number of things. Let's take a look at the camera first. Camera's interesting because you can see it on your flipper screen, which is super cool. You can manipulate how the image is reflected. And then you can take pictures. And these pictures are being saved to the SD card that I have. Now this is Marauder, so this is the Wi-Fi Marauder. I like this version of it. We can scan APs here, see if it's working. Yes, it is. And what the heck, Let me show you. Clearing the four APs I got, getting back on there. Now that, all those PCAPs, those two PCAPs that I just grabbed, they save into the SD card. Go scan for station. There we go. Does all the cool Marauder stuff, including because this is the ESP32, it will allow me on the attack to do The Bluetooth stuff. So for instance, let's see if this works on my computer. Yep, there you go. Hear that? All that Bluetooth's popping off. It's <laughs> still going. All right, let's look at another function of this board here. Here's the Morris. So we'll flash, we flash SOS, COD, this one okay thank you very much s o s all right that's cool okay the flasher this one's cool motion detector so it's training itself once it's done training Anytime it senses motion, tells you. So it sets a state and then will set an alarm off if that state is interrupted. The nanny cam, not really going to show you that right now, but essentially what it does is it creates a connection between um, Wi-Fi and the camera and your phone and you can see what's coming through the camera 
and then there's a QR code reader as well. So the camera right now is waiting for a QR code. I wish I had one actually. Um, there's some QR codes. Let's see if this works. Sometimes there are QR codes on these chips. I don't know if this will work, but... Mm, shot in the dark. Sometimes these chips have little QR codes on them. Like the, you can see a little QR code on there, but I'm not sure if it'll read it correctly right now on that chip. Anyway, it does work. It reads QR codes. Another function of this board, and when it reads the QR code, I should have shown something. It, it'll put the website right there. Another cool function that it has is that it has a little breakout board. And so it's got an eight pin breakout board right here. I can do all the, anything that the eight pin breakout board an eight pin would allow you to do. For instance, I have a infrared remote right here. Take that. And now we'll go to the infrared app. Universal remote, let's just try. Let's see. Should automatically detect. Yep, you can see it working. There it is. It's trying to turn on all the TVs. <laughs> and so any A pin is uh, 433 megahertz, 900 megahertz, all the, any eight pin that can go in there will work for the flipper. Let's pull this sucker out right here and then I'll show you that this kind of just turns around. So you take it out. Turn it around, flip it over, and turn it sideways. What are you doing? Yes. Stick it in there. And now everything's on the other side. And really, what that's important for only is the camera. So if I go to the camera now, now the camera's looking out the other side. You can tell too much, but and when you do it that way, where it's automatically coming out the other side, it's automatically flipped. But you can modify that with this and start shooting pictures. Yeah, so a very cool board.